Today I thought I would do some dual wield action with my pistol. So I got that simple pistol, made some modification. Two pistols. Bruh. Yeah, there's nothing cooler than two pistols. Look at those stupid zombies over there. They can't get out. I could just shoot them right through the fence. Aw, oh, man. That's all right. I got two pistols. I thought that would be pretty cool. This is just like Black Ops. You get the dual wheel. Let's go ahead and get started. I have an empty base plate opened up here. I'm going to go over to my browser, though. Let's go get that. And I'll put this link in the description. I made the dual wheeled pistols and it just took too long to do the video. So I want to break down the sections in smaller chunks for instructional video. I really want to dual wield and wanted you guys to be able to get it. So let's just set it up because even that's going to be a little bit of time. So grab that link in the description, click on it, hit the green get button and it says get now. They're free, of course. And now we'll go to our Roblox studio. And we'll go to Toolbox, Inventory, and then there's my dual wheel. And there's four scripts. Uh, yeah, let's put it in the starter pack so we don't have to fumble around for it in the workspace. And I'll go ahead and close the toolbox. And let's get to uh, getting these set up for your game so that you can use them. All right, so now over here in the Explorer window, let's take a look over here. We have our starter pack. That's where our dual wield weapon is. It's a tool. You can pick it up, you can equip it, it'll go in the backpack, all cool things tool related. Let's open it up. And in there, I had to make a left pistol using an accessory. So that's a little different, right? That doesn't go in your backpack. You can't just pick it up by walking over it. But I made it very similar. If you open this, I have the pistol mesh part. I have the handle but I had to put a left grip attachment. We're going to add the pistol with code to the person who equips the tool, the dual wield tool by using add accessories. But what I'm going to do so that two pistols don't flop onto the ground. When we go to do equip, we're going to get the left pistol, drag it into replicated storage. I'm going to clone it from there. So when we do our equip, boom, we're going to have two pistols, a little bit tricky, but it's kind of cool. All right, now that I have that, another thing that we got to do is the animations. The animations are not going to work unless you save them off under your account. When I created the animations using the dummy and the animation editor, I got these anim saves in the dummy that has all the keyframes for the animations. I drug it into my dual wield. Voila, we have all the keyframes for the animations. This is going to hold my animation ID for the animations in the script. You got to have those unique for your account. So under anim saves in your dual wield, I don't know if you can see that dual wield, go to kickback dual one, right click, and then we're going to save to Roblox. And that's a good name. It's good enough. Hit submit. And then we have our ID, those two little boxes there. Just click that, it says ID copied, close the window, go down to the kickback, and then inside the kickback, this is the animation the script is using, we're going to click on the animation ID, control V, we're going to put that new ID in there. So now, if you do that, it's going to work under your account. All the games you publish, people are going to use your weapons, they're, gonna, they're not going to have any trouble with the animations. All right, let's do one for left kickback for the left weapon. Right click, save to Roblox. There it is, submit, ID. Click it, click the box, ID copied. And we're gonna go down to the left kickback. That was a little better named there, right? So click that, go to the animation ID, control V, hit enter, and that Roblox asset ID stuff is prepended. You don't even have to do that anymore. That's pretty, that's a pretty cool um, enhancement they made. We have one more animation, the left wield. So under anim saves, click left wield. And we need this one because uh, our left pistol is an accessory, not a tool. So you don't have the default tool animation where you're holding it up. I had to actually create that. So under left wield, Right click, 
save to Roblox, and submit. Looking good. There's the ID. Hit the boxes. Close the window. Go down to this left wheel right here, which is under the tool. Go to the animation ID. Control V to paste. All right. Now we're ready to use our weapon. There is one more thing that I want to change. Notice I don't have a configuration folder in here. I should have done that, but I didn't. Let's go to damage, open damage up, and I crank that max damage up to 150 so that the demo would look cool when I'm shooting the zombies. That's probably too high, right? Let's make another variable for min damage. We're going to give this a variable damage. Well, it already has one, but I want to do, whoops, min damage variable here. Let's say min damage 20. Max damage, let's say 80. You could change that to whatever you want. Let me copy that min damage, control C, and then we're gonna paste it right here. I had the next integer between 100 and the max damage. That's a little better. So we're gonna, we're gonna get a random damage. And if you're curious, both the left pistol and the right pistol use this on shoot. So I'll have, I have server events that are firing for the same damage script. That's kind of uh, uh, handy because you don't want to have too much redundant code. All right, we need to get some zombies so we can try out our dual wield weapon. Let's go over to Marketplace and I'll do a drooling zombie. Cool, let's add like two. Uh, we'll just duplicate them, get rid of that window. And do a control D, control D. Go ahead and play it. Oh man, zombies are right there. We got our dual wheel, let's see if it works. Yeah. Does it got flashes? It does. That's pretty cool. So I think what we should do on another video for a mod is make this so that it'll work with the R6s. The animations won't work with the R6s. I did them under R15, but if you use R6, it's pretty easy to make those uh, to make those adjustments. And since I put the anim saves in the dual wield, you can take a look in the animation editor.